YouTube, Smooth the Trucker. Happy Monday, you guys, on this rainy Monday today. This video today is gonna to be about trucking freedom and the no mask mandates. Uh, we are living in a crazy, crazy world nowadays, you guys. We got incompetent leaders that are running this country. We got countries that are attacking one another. Russia, Ukraine raises the co possible question of a possible World War III that might end up happening because of all these bad, really scary times, honestly, that we're in right now, you guys. And it raises the question, in a crazy world that we're living in right now, what is consistent? You know, we really need to stick to consistency. And uh, the answer to that question is trucking, you guys. If you're looking for a career right now, trucking has always been consistent and it always will be consistent. It's one of the, it's one of the best well-kept secrets, even all the way up until this day, you know? Most kids my age, they think that, you know, you gotta go into debt, you gotta go into debt to get student loans, to go to a, a four-year university, get your master's, possible PhD education, go, uh, go into over $100,000 in student loan debt to end up for what? Getting a, getting a job that pays maybe, you know, $50,000 starting pay and working the next 10 to 12, possibly 15 years to pay off your student loan debt. No, that's a, that's a terrible decision, you know? I thought about doing that back when I was in my high school days, and all the way up until today, I am so glad that I did not make that decision, you guys. That is a false, a false thing that people are trying to have people believe is that you gotta go down that pathway. You know, a lot of people, they also think you gotta go into the fire service, you know, be a police officer, those professions, you know. For the right personality, I'll admit, those are great professions, they're very, very respectable. Um, back when I was 19 years old, I thought I wanted to be a firefighter, actually. When I got out of high school in Oregon, I joined the fire service for a little while. I was taking, went through Firefighter One Academy, and I was going down that fire service road. But the more I found out about the fire service is that all the respect in the world to firefighters and people that love that profession, but the harsh reality is there's not a lot of freedom in that profession. You know, you have corporals that are breathing down your neck every single day, giving you a lecture of what you can and cannot do. And uh, you don't have a whole lot of freedom being, you know, in the public safety um, world nowadays, unfortunately. It's really, really a shame what it's become lately. Um, you have higher ups that are breathing down your neck um, and it's just not the greatest atmosphere to be around. Trucking, on the other hand, is the complete opposite of that though, you guys. Trucking, you have freedom. It's just you and the open road. That's all you have to worry about when you are a semi-truck driver and it's up to you. It's up to you how much money that you want to make. You know, if you're a hustler and you run hard, it's very capable of making six figures, over $100,000 a year net, you know, being a, a trucker. If you are willing to work hard and put in the hours and do what it takes, you know, the, the sky is the limit of how much money and how successful you want to become when you get your CDL and you decide you want to start driving semi-trucks. If you have the right personality for it, trucking is one of the best best professions and one of the best well-kept secrets even all the way up until this day you know if you look at trucking there is a driver shortage i don't care some people think that you know there's not a big driver shortage but i actually think there is a driver shortage you guys if you look at the statistics about it almost any job you want in the trucking industry if you have a good driving record and you have experience at least two years experience you can get almost any job possible in the trucking service and there's not very many professions that you can say that you know if you just uh, if you look at how competitive it is compared to other professions, when I was a firefighter, especially if you want to be a firefighter in Orange County, they make you try out at Angel Stadium where you have over 30,000 people competing for maybe 15 to 20 positions. It's absolutely crazy how competitive and how unrealistic it is of trying to compete for a job like that. Trucking is not like that. You can make the same type of money and it's honestly, I think it's a better job uh, having the amount of freedom and having 
being able to say what you want and when you want and being able to stand up for what you believe. You know, if you're willing to put in the hours, work hard, the sky is the limit and you can make as much money as you want. If you're a hustler and you put in the hours and you enjoy and you love what you what you do, you guys. Uh, trucking, you have a lot of free speech and you can stand up for your beliefs. Look at what's been going on in uh, this year, you guys. These last couple months, we have been under intense scrutiny with the United States, the Canadian truckers, you know, the Canadian trucker convoy and trying to enforce mask mandates. All the respect in the world. Trucking is one of the only few professions where you can actually stand up for what you believe and you can say what you want when you want. And you don't have to worry about the scrutiny that comes with that. You know, if you, you don't have to worry about your higher ups coming back to see what you said about that and firing you for what you said. Said. Trucking, you have a lot of freedom, and because of the way it's set up, you know, you can be yourself and you can say what you want. You don't have to hide anything. You don't have to hide anything from, from what you believe. You know, if you have something that's on your mind and you want to say it, go ahead and say it when you're a truck driver. You know, it is the ultimate, the ultimate American job being a truck driver. It's all about freedom, it's all about hard work, and it's all about it's all about getting out there and doing what you believe in. You know, look at the no mask mandates. You know, you know, compared to other jobs, trucking is one of the few professions that throughout this pandemic, we were the essential workers, you guys. We were the essential workers. People were looking up to us to go out and make the deliveries and deliver the essential freight, you know. Without trucking, nothing gets delivered. It's an essential job and it always will be. I don't care how, you know, automated these semi trucks get, you know, if they start taking a few jobs, if you stay in shape and you're willing to work car there's always going to be tons of cdl work for the next over the next hundred years i believe you know certain jobs like team driving jobs i think might be taken away in the next 15 to 20 years possibly but you know if you have your cdl and you're in good shape you know uh, hazmat, tanker, um, delivery drivers, doing um, food service work, all that, that type of job that requires a little extra hooking up doubles, a little extra physical activity. And those jobs are always going to be around for the next 100 plus years in the CDL, big rig, truck driving industry, you guys. And like I said, it is the ultimate American job being a truck driver. You know, say what you want, when you want, you have free speech. What other job can you say that? You know, think about other jobs. You know, I know being a firefighter, being a police officer, working in the corporate world, being a politician, of course, um, you know, there's very few jobs that give you the amount of freedom that trucking has and allows you to say what you want when you want. You know, if you hate mask mandates and you don't support it, go ahead and say that. If you're a truck driver, you know, you're not going to get in trouble for it. There's no one. You are your own boss. And, you know, you are your own boss and say what you want when you want and stand up for what you believe, you guys. We are living in such a crazy world nowadays where the government's trying to, you know, say, put all these restrictions on us and tell us what we can and what we can't do, what we have to get vaccinated for. And, you know, it's so important. You know, if it wasn't for the Canadian trucker strike and the convoy going on these last couple months, that has greatly helped, you know, all this craziness that's going on in Washington, D.C. right now and all these lunatics that are running the country right now, you guys. Uh, there's no restrictions being a CDL big rig truck driver, and it is honestly the ultimate job for those of you guys that love driving and you want to make a career out of it. You might want to highly consider being a truck driver because it is one of the ultimate jobs all the way up until this day, you guys. Uh, unlimited potential of how successful you want to be. Those of you guys that are looking for a great driving opportunity and a great opportunity, my contractor for VNG Optimum Freight for VNG uh, FedEx Ground and DSN Transport was one of the new companies that have just came out from this. Uh, we're hiring right now, you guys. If you live in the Southern California area, we have trucks in City of Industry, Rialto, Anaheim. Go ahead and call my contractor below, Gert Leisha. I'll also put Viola's number down there too. Text them, call them. They're busy right now but they will get back to you uh, if you keep putting in the work and keep calling you guys 
Uh, great job, great opportunity, eighty to $100,000 per year, depending on how hard you want to work and how much effort you want to put into this job, you guys. It is one of the best well-kept secrets being a truck driver, and it always will be. I uh, hope this video was helpful and informative to you guys. Stay strong, stay consistent. I love you guys. Until the next video, Smooth the Trucker, out for now. You.